If I might just ask, um, did you hear, hear anything here in the speech from Ursula von der Leyen that, that you thought was different or perhaps raises some, some interesting questions in your mind about what now the Commission becomes if it's effectively a platform to help with the reconstruction of Ukraine, among other things? Two things, perhaps. Uh, one, the united front that is being expressed by uh, uh, the President of the Commission is, of, of course, necessary. And second, and I think it does correspond to the reality. And second, what is interesting in the restruction, reconstruction debate is actually that we're talking about rec reconstruction now. So the question is, are we sort of uh, uh, too optimistic about a, an exit of the situation that would allow real discussion on reconstruction already now? Or is there something happening that could lead us to think that it's the right moment to do it? What's been coming up over and over again here is, I think, the concern long term that a lot of business people have about not only the action that Russia has taken, but the reaction to the action that Russia has taken, the seizing of assets, the um, sanctioning of the financial economy around Russia, the sanctioning of, of individuals, a lot of it which seems perfectly legitimately justified, but it does raise questions about supply chain operation, about inflation around food security, uh, about inflation per se when it comes to Europe as a whole. Uh, and obviously, you know, can we now see currencies further weaponized or is it just about the dollar and the SWIFT system? Do you have those same concerns? Of course we do. Of course we do. I think that uh, the sanctions are today the new weapons and uh, we have to admit that uh, this is an evolution of our society which allows us to do it because markets are global, companies are global, so interrupting actually the business development of some companies in the world will create a, a massive pressure on the concerned country. The second thing which is of concern is the fact that while we can conceive that these are legitimate weapons, we have to be careful uh, to which extent we use them as well, because confisc confiscating and or freezing assets is not exactly the same as uh, taking assets away from their legitimate owners, isn't it? And, and that step has to be uh, really, really carefully analyzed before it's been done. So I would call for a bit of cautious on that, because that would really go away from the uh, international rules of law, that uh, while they've been breached, by the Russian invasion should not be breached as a reaction. Yeah, interesting. Um, if I could just talk about the markets for a moment. We, we looked at the, the charts here. It's a down day for Europe. And again, further reaction, it seems, to announcements from central bankers. Uh, is this volatility going to be with us for some time yet? Or is the market ultimately going to price in um, a terminal rate for Europe and for the United States that it can live with? I think volatility is going to be here for a while. I think we are living a combination of unprecedented risks here, some of which we can manage directly, some that we can't. I mean, the geopolitical risks today, yes, we can be a front and uh, we can act as a front uh, united in order to apply sanctions, but the rest we can't do. I mean, this is, uh, this is the willingness of a regime that has to take its decision and we hopefully think that this regime will take the wise decisions not to escalate. But on the market and economic um, uh, situation, I think there, uh, what is the most uh, probably interesting uh, issue to deal with today is the impact of inflation. First of all, is inflation going to continue uh, to develop or not? And I think today we see signs of, of, of inflex inflection and we need to see more of those to make sure the markets get reassured. So it's not only negative. Secondly, this inflation is quite different from one region of the world to the other. So it's not a generalized situation. And third, I think if there's one risk of this inflation, it's probably this inequality risk that inflation will create. Mm. Because inflation is not only about increasing prices for some, it's basically allowing some to have it and others not to have it. Mm. And as we are living in a society which already has increased the uh, discrepancies of uh, the well-being of certain types of uh, citizens, I think this will be another source of risk that we will have to manage very carefully, including central banks.